children, everybody requires shelter. May it be birds, animals and also human beings. I'll give an example. Rohan was playing near his house and suddenly started raining. So what do you think Rohan might have done in that case? Yes, he rushed towards his house to escape from the heavy rain. So house protect us from heat, cold, rain and also from enemies, animals and thieves. So we generally build houses to live happily along with the family. They provide shelter to us. So today our topic is housing and clothing. As house gives us shelter and clothes we wear protect us from heat, cold and rain. So both are very important. They protect us from the forces of nature. So our topic is housing and clothing. As you all know that houses are made up of different materials. Different materials are used in making houses like the wood, cement, brick, stone, hay. Water plays a very important role in building the houses. Generally, the floor of the houses are made up of marble, tiles and wood. The, uh, the roofs and the walls are made up of stones, bricks and also plastered with cement and paint. The doors and windows of the houses are made up of metal, wood and sometimes glass because the sunlight passes through the glass and it is highly ventilated. So these are the different things that we use to make up houses. Now there are different types of houses. Some are permanent houses. You might have seen the houses in the cities. Example, bungalow, flats, mansion, villa. These are all permanent houses because they use bricks. They use bricks, stone, cement wood steel for making these houses so they are not breakable so these are permanent houses next coming to temporary houses you might have seen the houses in the villages they generally constitute the houses made up of hay mud bamboo they use these kind of things to make the houses and the examples are hut, log house. Many people are there though, who move from one place to another. So they are called nomads. They build houses like nomads. Build houses, uh, they live in houses like tents or they use houses on wheels like caravan or boat house. Some houses are there which are built according to the climate like in very uh, cold places like the polar region. The people build houses of snow bricks and they are called igloos. And in very uh, rainy areas like where there is very high rainfall. They built houses on stilt and they are called stilt houses. It is little above the ground. So these are called the stilt houses and they can use the under surface of the house as a storage or for work. So these are about the different kind of houses. Now we will discuss about the features of a good house. Features of a good house. Houses can be big or small, but it should be clean and tidy, free from the germs and it should be airy. 
the houses should have big windows so that sunlight can come in and generally the window should be made up of glass because the sunlight could pass through the glass it should the house should be well well ventilated sunlight acts as a disinfectant and kill the germs the house should have proper drainage system and the drainage should system should be covered the, the windows in the house should be covered with a mess or the net should be there so that mosquitoes and flies will not enter the house the bathroom should be slopy so that water should go down very uh, properly there should be open spaces like the balconies and veranda so that you can get in fresh air inside the house the the door should be very strong so that nobody can break the door that the, the thieves cannot break the door and the latch should be very proper there should be peep hole in the house so that you can peep into uh, and see who is outside the house the kitchen should be proper uh, that that is the, it should have a good supply water supply and the drainage system should be good inside the house it the ventilator should be there so that the uh, fresh air should come inside there should be plant near your house so that you can get a fresh air and sit in the balcony of the house the house should be white washed regularly so that the uh, insect moisture should not be there inside the house the wall will be very clean and the free from uh, insect termites and moisture so these are all the qualities of the good house proper care should be taken of the now the care for the house you should take proper care of the house how you should take care of the house you should keep it clean by putting everything in the proper place the basin and the bathroom should be washed regularly the floor of the house should be mopped regularly and clean regularly the kitchen slabs and the sinks should be uh, should be cleaned properly with the disinfectant garbage should be uh, put in the garbage bin and should be segregation of the garbage there should be covered garbage and the so that the flies and all should not be there the water should not be stagnant near your house or any open area so that the mosquitoes and flies will not breed regularly clean the bed sheet change the bed sheet so that the house will very be very clean so these are the some caring properties you should take care for your house now we will discuss about clothing we cover ourselves with the clothes so as to protect us from the heat cold rain and also from the insect bite cloth make us look smart clothes we wear different kinds of clothes in different seasons yes previously the men were making clothes of leaves fur and the animal skin now we wear clothes made up of cotton silk jute plastic and man made fibers also so these are all about clothes we wear different type of clothes in different season like in the winter season in the winter season we use wool woolen clothes yes this woolen clothes keep us warm in the summer season we wear clothes made up of cotton silk linen why we use this type of clothes so as to absorb the sweat and also to make ourselves cool and comfortable and in the rainy season we wear clothes made up of nylon they are generally made up of plastic and the clothes we use are rain coats gum boots yes these are of different type of clothes we wear in different season now these clothes are made up from the fibers and there are two type of fibers what are they they are natural fibers 
and synthetic fiber. Man-made fiber, also called man-made or artificial fibers. The natural fibers, as the name specifies, these are uh, produced by the nature and they can be produced from plants and animals. The fibers that we get from plants are cotton, flex, jute and animals we get wool and silk. So these are about the natural fibers. Synthetic fibers, the examples are nylon, rayon, terrylene, polyester. So these are the synthetic fibers from fibers and the fibers are generally made into yarns with the help of spinning wheels and the yarns are then developed into clothes in the hand loom. So this is all about the making of clothes. So clothes are made from a thread like thing called the fibers. Of clothes. What should you do for your caring of the clothes? We should wash properly. Wash the clothes properly. And also rinse it. Wash the clothes regularly to free from the germs and dirt. Now the synthetic fibers, they need not be squeezed. Synthetic fibers need not be squeezed not to be squeezed and ironed. The woolen clothes should be kept in the sun, kept outside in the sun after winter we should keep it outside after the winter and while keeping inside the cupboard we should put naphthalene balls into it silk cloth should be wrapped in the cotton cloths wrapped inside cotton cloth and kept inside the wardrobe very nicely with the naphthalene ball so that the insect will not attack it. So you should take proper care of the clothes so that it will last longer and you should feel healthy. So these are all about the housing and clothing. We studied today the, the different types of houses, the material used in building different types of houses and about the care of clothes, the feature of the good house and what are the different kind of fibers that is natural fiber and man-made fiber and the clothes worn in different season. Thank you.